What would you do if your wife is photographed with no clothes? Hello, and welcome back to the story. Today we will be making a recap of a 2021 movie titled The Voyeurs. Warning, there will be some spoilers ahead so watch at your own risk and enjoy. The story begins with a sweet young couple named Thomas and Pippa, who are excited as they move into their new apartment. They are getting steamy when the landlady interrupts them to sign the papers. That evening, the couple are chatting when they notice an apartment just right across from theirs. They can clearly see a man taking photographs of a woman and they later make love. The young couple enjoys watching them, and Pippa says they are becoming creepy weirdos for spying on their neighbor, so they stop. Pippa later fixes herself and puts on seductive one piece. She teases Thomas but he is sound asleep, and she just lies next to him, looking disappointed. The next day, Pippa chats with her friend Ari. She tells her about the couple they saw across their apartment who were making love. Ari advises her to use binoculars and Pippa says it is not okay to watch them. Her friend disagrees and says they could be exhibitionists and watching them is a polite thing to do. Pippa works as an assistant optometrist to Dr. Sato. The doctor later gives her a housewarming present, which is a bird feeder. When Pippa arrives home, she sees Thomas looking at the couple next door again, and she joins him. They decide to name the couple, Margot for the woman, and Brent for the man. That night, Pippa seems disappointed again because she did not get laid. She goes to the kitchen to drink water when she notices that their neighbor is awake. Margot has left the apartment, and Pippa watches Bren's ripped body, and she seems to be getting turned on. The next night, Pippa bought binoculars so they can watch their neighbor, and they find out that Brent is with another woman. They just do photo shoot at first, but then make love later on. While Thomas is watching, Pippa is playing with his privates. They change turn and while Pippa is watching, Thomas humps her from behind but he finishes quickly and he apologizes. Pippa says it was great, but when Thomas leaves, her true reaction is revealed. She watches the neighbor again, and they are still not done. A while later, Pippa sees that Margot has arrived and kisses Thomas. Pippa seems upset. Next morning, the couple are chatting with their friends. Joni concludes that Margot is Brent's wife or girlfriend, and while she's out of town, Brent cheated on her. Ari says they might just be in an open relationship. Pippa wishes they could hear what they were saying to each other. Joni reveals that Thomas knows a way on how to rig a laser pointer to become a long-range microphone. Pippa gets curious and asks Thomas about it. Thomas explains to his girlfriend how the laser microphone works. He says in order to do that, they need to have a mirror behind their neighbor's window to beam the laser back at them. They look at their neighbor and find out that they are having a Halloween party. Pippa says she has a bad idea. The young couple later puts on costume and heads to their neighbor's apartment. Brent takes a picture of them, and they join in the party. Pippa later prepares the mirror and sticks it behind a figurine that faces the window. A while later, they set up the laser and have it reflected back to them. After a few tweaks, they can now successfully listen to their neighbor. They can hear that the couple are fighting because Margot found out that Brent was cheating, and they confirm that the couple are actually married. Brent gets mad and assaults his wife. Next morning, Margot visits the eye clinic where Pippa is working. She finds out that Margot's real name is Julia. After the test, Pippa says she has terrible vision. While they are choosing the glass for her, the two start to get close. Julia later asks her if they can have coffee sometimes, and Pippa says she'd love that. While Thomas is working on a recording, he notices Brent is having photo shoot with another woman, so he sets up the laser microphone. Thomas can hear Brent flirting with the woman while taking her pictures. He later makes love with the model. That evening, Pippa tells her boyfriend about Julia and says they are going to hang out. Thomas can't believe it and says it is crazy. Pippa says maybe Julia needs a friend to talk about her unhealthy relationship. Thomas says they should stop spying on their neighbor and asks Pippa not to go with Julia. But Pippa is decided and says it is her moral responsibility to let Julia know that her husband is cheating. Thomas is mad saying it's none of her business, and he leaves. That weekend, Pippa goes with Julia to a spa. They chat about their lives and later on, Pippa finds out that the real name of Julia's husband is Sebastian, or Seb. He is well known in photography, and she says Seb loves her, but he is a complex individual. Pippa continues spying on their neighbors, and one day, she finds Seb sleeping with two girls and throws the condom in the trash can. That night, she connects to their neighbor's wireless printer. She prints a message for Julia, saying that her husband is cheating, and tells her that there is a used condom in the trash can. Thomas wakes up and asks what had she done, and Pippa says she had to. Julia finds the condom and gets really upset. She later gets a knife and is about to stab her husband, but she stops. Thomas gets mad and throws the binoculars. 
Next morning, Pippa apologizes to her husband and says she'll stop spying on their neighbors. They reconcile and when Pippa hugs Thomas, she sees that Julia is blooded and must have ended her own life. Thomas breaks down and blames her for what happened to Julia. He breaks up with Pippa and then leaves. Pippa sees the glass that Julia ordered. She calls her number, then leaves a voicemail saying sorry while crying. She continues watching Seb who has been grieving, and imagines herself comforting him. She sees him go to a bar, and she follows him. Seb catches her staring at him, so he sits next to Pippa and talks with her. He says that he is currently in pain, but Pippa manages to comfort him by telling him a story. Seb then asks her if it would be okay to take her picture. A while later, Pippa comes with Seb to his apartment. They start with a normal photo shoot, until Seb asks her to undress. Seb seduces her and they later make love. Meanwhile, Thomas arrives at their apartment and can't find Pippa. He drinks his chlorophyll water but it tastes bad so he pours it in the bird feeder. He notices that Seb is making love with another woman again, so he takes the binoculars, and he finds out that it is his wife who is on top of him. Thomas is heartbroken. Next morning, Pippa goes back to their apartment, and there, she finds that Thomas has hanged himself. Pippa is devastated, and grieves for days. Pippa tells her friend everything that happened. Ari tells her that she cannot blame herself for this. She suggests that she meet with Seb to help her move on. They go to Seb's photo exhibit. Seb is on the stage when he introduces his partner for that project, Julia. Pippa is shocked to find out that she is still alive. Julia then announces the subject of their exhibition, a tragic tale of a young woman named Pippa. Pippa is horrified as she sees her naked photo displayed in the exhibit. Seb reveals that they own the apartment where Pippa and her boyfriend are living. He further shows pictures of the couple that were taken without them being aware. They knew all along that the couple were watching them and planted a microphone at their house. They also show the tragic end of the couple. Pippa goes home crying. Next morning, she decides to move out, and while taking the bird feeder, she notices that there are dead birds right below it. In an interview, Seb reveals that in the lease contract, they allow Pippa and Thomas to watch them, and in return, Seb and Julia can watch them back. That evening, the two celebrate by drinking wine. They later receive a message from their wireless printer. It is from Pippa, saying she knows that they killed Thomas. They see Pippa and the two run after her. She lures them to the optical clinic, where she is later cornered. She reveals how she found out that Julia drugged her husband's chlorophyll water which made him pass out. Julia made it look like Thomas ended his own life. Julia asks if she has proof, and Pippa says no, but then Julia suddenly feels weird, and faints. Pippa reveals that the wine they drank was from her, and then Seb also passes out. She puts the couple on the LASIK machine and burns their corneas. The movie ends with the couple who are now both blind, and Pippa watches them through the binoculars, and she leaves. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.